What is going on, Vikings and Draconians? Draco Invictus here with another Valheim build video. Today, we're going to be talking about building a dock and how to make sure that we have deep enough water that we don't damage our boat whenever we bring it in. So right now, I'm just kind of leveling things out. I'm putting this nice little like cliff edge on it. It's not necessary, but it's something that I wanted to do. It's just going to make it a whole lot easier to line up the stone bricks that I'm going to be using here in just a second, which are also not necessary for this build like this here it doesn't require this for the build i just wanted it for the aesthetics of having a stone dock and let me also say that i have some other ideas for different ways of docking our boat so um i will be putting together those videos as well uh when i find uh, the right circumstance to put this together i'm now just gonna lay out the floor here now here's the idea Okay, this location is actually really good because it gets to deep water relatively quickly, but you may not have that kind of situation where you can easily not have to worry about damaging your boat. That's the idea of this dock is that we can kind of control how deep the water is at our dock. And we're gonna talk about that towards the end of the video. But I wanted to show you guys my process for what I do going through and building a dock and stuff like that. And I'm just going to let this play out. It's all relatively simple. You will see me pull out my hoe and then I'm going to raise the ground underneath to get ground underneath a pillar or something like that. So it's all very straightforward. Uh, just hang out and watch. If you guys, of course, have any questions about something that I did in the video, feel free to hit me up down in the comment section below. Before we get really cooking on this video, you can see that I'm kind of creating like a scaffolding system with the flooring. I went down to sea level, right at the water level, and I put those floors out. So even if the water rises up a little bit, I'm not floating and I can get out there and I can work. I can see underneath the floor for the pier that I've already put out there so that it allows me to snap the columns a lot easier. So. Just keep that in mind that this is one of the great tools of working in this kind of situation. If you get yourself lower than the thing that you're working on, it makes it a whole lot easier to snap underneath it. One last thing that I wanted to mention, you are going to need a lot of rocks, a lot of stones to do this because we're elevating the ground that's under the water to support the piers and Every time you click on that raised ground, it's like four stones that is required. So make sure that you gather a lot of stone if this is a project that you want to take on.
right, guys, one of the last things that I want to talk about is if you don't have super deep water close to shore, and maybe you have to come way out here before the water is really deep enough that you're not worried about damaging your boat. That's the whole idea, right? Well, just do what I did. I built off of this, this column here. I just attached the piece of uh, floor and I came out here to what felt like really was really deep. This is all pretty, really deep out here. You'd never have to worry about damaging your boat out here. But I just want to demonstrate this uh, because remember, when you use a hoe to level ground, it's based on the ground that's right at your feet. So since the ground that's at my feet is actually way down there, we can sit here and we could level the, all the, uh, the sea out based on my level. And of course we could extend a floor off of that pylon and come out more and more and more. And um, I'm right at the very edge of what I can do. So I know it's gotta be deep. But yeah, that is how you drop down the sea level at the uh, or the floor level at your dock. Now, of course, don't destroy the uh, the rocks that you built up to get your pylons working because notice they're all blue. So those are foundational supports. So uh, be careful not to take those out because then you'd have to redo that work and that would be a pain in the butt. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap it up for our dock build here. Uh, we have some really deep water, and again, we covered about uh, what to do if you don't have super deep water real close to shore. Uh, you can always uh, build out a little bit further where it is deeper, and then use your hoe to uh, level the ground underneath so that you don't have any problems with uh, your boat running aground when you're pulling up to your dock. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you're new around here, think about subscribing and clicking the bell notification icon so that you get notified the next time I post a video. I am planning more Valheim content. As a matter of fact, I think I have another project right here at the Black Forest that is gonna be a lot of fun. So stick around for that. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, I wanna thank you guys for coming by. And until next time, I want you to take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.